indoor plant guys na mulaklak na ng gusto ang ganda ganda ng bulaklak niya ng yellow hindi na make it yung yellow kasi nga ayan tignan yung ganda yan lang sa ilalim ng alubate ko yan dito guys malamig na kasi sa labas super frozen sa labas ngayon ayan guys oh Ayan na. Diba yung alagbati ko nandiyan, o. Oh. Tapos sa ilalim. Ayan, dami ng seeds talaga, as in. Super dami niyang seedlings na ngayon. Kaya, harvesting ko yan later. Pero tingnan mo, guys. May, may bulaklak sa ilalim na mumulaklak. Ayan, ilipat ko rin yan sa ibang paso. Parang ganda, o. Oh. Ayan. <music> yung alugbati ko dito sa bahay, gumawa ako ng munggo, hindi ko lang na-show everything pero tingnan mo yung mga seedlings na niya guys, ang dami, right? ang liwanag kasi dito sa bintana guys kaya dalawang puno, ayan, ayan, na-harvest ko may na-harvest na ako niyan mag-harvest pa ako ulit kasi nga ilalagay natin sa munggo, okay? ayan daming dahon guys diba, pag may tinanim may anihin ka talaga, ito yung sa loob ng bahay lang namin guys as you can see Tapos, kinukulik ko yung mga seedlings, guys. Ang dami ko nang nakulik na seedlings. Nag-dry na nga yung iba. Kaya, yun. Malamig na sa labas. Nag-foggy sa labas, guys. Baka mag-snow in any day, you know. Ayan, kumuha lang ako ng ano. Ang dami na ng seedling. Hindi ko pa harvest yung ibang seedling. Ayan, oh, nag nagsusulputan. At saka yung ibang seedling, guys, nag-grow lang. Na 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 nahulog. At nag-grow sila. Issue ko yun later. Ito pa. Mayroon pa. Tignan mo, ang fresh, diba? Wala pang bugs or anything kasi nasa loob lang ng bahay. Ayan. Kuha pa ako ng marami kasi nga, managulay ako ng munggo. Isusyo ko rin sa'yo, guys. Kasi, eh, ano ko, eh, tama na yan. Tama na itong na-harvest ko today. Ayan, oh, marami na. Marami na. Kaya, i-ano natin. Okay? I-ano natin yan. Ipupost ko today, guys. <laughs> Hindi ko i-premiere to. Ipo ano. This is what growings in my house, my garden here, the alugbati, the Chinese spinach. So, this is how you, uh, naga I'm just harvesting it because I'm making soup. So, um, ayan, uh, there we go again. See, I'm harvesting. I'm harvesting my water, water spinach. Tandami ng ano, uh, it's a lot of seedlings now. I'm gonna take all the seedlings out. And then, uh, replant them again next year. Another way I'm planting is indoor. Uh, kasi no bugs. And then, there's no... Uh, oh, there's more here in the back. I'm gonna harvest more here. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Oh, nangahulog na yung seeds. Ah, may mga seedlings kasi. Tsaka, basta kay dinidiligan mo lang talaga. Di, kahit dito sa bahay, every ano ako, every five days ako nagdidilig. Kasi nga, hindi masyadong mainit na dito. Malamig na sa labas, eh. Ano na sa labas? Malamig na talaga. Yeah. Sa backyard namin yan. Okay? Hindi ko pa nalinisan. <laughs> Ayan, o. Oh. Ito yung palagi kong hina-harvest, guys. Nandito pa rin. Ayan, o. Oh. Ito malaki na. Okay na yan, harvestin. Tapos may tumutubo na siya na maliit para naman tutubo uli ng another, another, ano, another leaves. Para harvestin naman natin uli. Naku, harvest ako ng harvest. O, sige. Uh, ano ko uli, ilagay ko dito sa munggo na ng luto ko na. Nag-harvest tayo after harvest ng ano, hinugasan muna natin. Na-mute ko kasi guys, kaya kailangan kong i-explain. Ayan, yung with green bell, not green bell, <laughs> but green onions. Simple lang ang munggo ko guys, naluto ko na. At saka ilalagay ko na lang yan. So, wash, wash, wash. Hugas, hugas, hugas. Kahit nandyan sa loob ng bahay ko tinanim yan, kailangan pa rin hugasan ng thoroughly, okay? Ng very clean water. Tapos, didi-drain yung water. Tsaka, ilagay together. Kasi, ilalagay lang natin together sa kala na nilutuan natin ng munggo. So, just put it all together and then put it into our mongo that has already been processed and almost done ayan oh sa salad master ko niluto guys kaya ang super dali lang talaga niyang na 
I mix also with potato. I forgot to show that, but I did uh, regular potato into cubes and I already cook and done. So we're just gonna put all that together. Ayan lang yung organic natin na uh, water spinach. They call that water spinach here and we call that uh, alugbati in the Philippines. That's how we call it. Ayan, I mix mo lang but not over mix it. Kasi gusto natin ano lang yan. Nandyan pa rin yung flavor at vitamins ng vegetable natin. At may malunggay din yan guys. Nilagay ko na yung unang malunggay. Madali lang din ang malunggay. I don't cook it too long. I'm just sort of like 1 to 2 minutes after it boiled once and that's it. So we're just waiting for it to boil and then done. Okay. Ayan lang, super sarap natin na monggo. Uh, super organic ang nilalagay natin ng mga vegetable. At yan, lagyan natin ng patis, yung fish sauce. I'm just gonna add it. And then later on, half of this already cooked monggo, I can put shrimp. Kasi ngayon, ang asawa ko ayaw niya. Hindi niya alam nilagyan ko ng patis yan. But he likes the flavor, but he don't know that I put patis. You know, like the fish sauce. But just to bring up the flavor and um oh, oh foggy and um uh, fish sauce really brings the flavor of mongo like natural mongo from like tastes like we cook it in the philippines even we're not in the philippines but we're able to cook it here nilagyan ko pala ng pork belly and guys i already sauteed and take out the oil from the pork belly and already put it there that's the main ingredients that i put also the pork belly because it's really good with our mongo, with alugbati and with uh, malonggay, moringa. They call malonggay is moringa here. Um, it's very nice. And I got that from the seafood city the other day when I was there. Remember our live? That's where I got it from. So, okay. Uh, thank you sa lahat. At saka, malapit na yung maluto, guys. Ano lang? Malapit lang. Malapit, uh, malapit ng maluto, I mean. Ito guys, continue lang tayo nito. Continue cooking. Until we, it's all well done. And not overcook the alugbati and malunggay. We don't want to overcook it. So, it's sort of like, just wait patiently. And also, I'm gonna put some, after I put away my husband's part of the mongo here's the surgeon fish the dried fish is really good it's just very salty what i do is i'm gonna put it in the water first and wash it and then put it on my side because i'm the only one who ate that dried fish and shrimp later so i'm gonna take a picture of it later and uh, it get done together with my shrimp mongo with that surgeon fish dry fish Okay, it's pretty good, yummy flavoring. So, thank you guys and see you soon.